AI David Attenborough can narrate your life in real time, and it is absolutely insane. Watch this. Ah, here we observe a colorful specimen of Homo sapiens, clad in the traditional regalia of the tie-dye tribe, a peculiar fashion that mimics the psychedelic patterns one might see on a chameleon after it's had a bit too much fermented fruit. This individual has positioned itself in front of what appears to be some kind of communication device, a microphone used to amplify its mating call across the digital savanna. What's this? The human has begun to move. It's a slight twitch of the eyebrow. Absolutely breathtaking. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do this. Let's go. So I wanna thank Charlie Holtz on Twitter. He's the one who first showed this and it already has 3 million views on Twitter. So it's incredibly popular. We're using GPT-4 Vision to analyze the camera shots. And then we're using 11 Labs to synthesize David Attenborough's voice. This is the GitHub repo for it. I will drop it in the description below. And it's quite simple. So open up your terminal. Let's clone the repo first. All of these instructions, I'll put in a gist and I'll I'll link it in the description below. So git clone and then the URL for narrator.git. And then we're gonna CD into it, CD narrator. And then we're gonna spin up a new Conda environment. Conda create dash n narrator Python equals 3.11. There, it's done. Now we're gonna grab this command right here and we're gonna activate the new narrator environment. So Conda activate narrator. Hit enter. Now we see it's activated right there. Now you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need GPT-4 API access and you're also gonna need an 11 Labs account. So here's 11 Labs, I've already signed up. In the top right, you're gonna click the little icon button right there, you're gonna click profile, and then you can grab your API key right here. Then we're gonna install the requirements. But to do this, I wanna make sure that we're running the right Python. So do which Python, then you're gonna grab your Python environment right here, paste it, and then dash M, pip install dash R requirements.txt. Then we're gonna do export 11 labs underscore API underscore key equals, and that's where you put your 11 labs API key. Now in OpenAI, we're gonna create a new secret key. I'm gonna call it narrator YT, create secret key. I'm gonna grab it right here. I will revoke this key before publishing the video. Then we do export OpenAI underscore API underscore key, and then you enter your OpenAI API key. Hit enter. And that actually should be it. Let's give it a try. So you need to have two servers running. First, we need to run the file python capture.py, and that's gonna capture what's in the video. So iTerm wants camera access. You go ahead and click okay, and then let's open it again. And there it is. It says say cheese, saving frame. So I believe every few seconds, it grabs a frame from your camera. Next, let's open up a new terminal. And basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna send each of those frames to GPT-4 Vision to analyze what's in the frame. Then it's gonna create dialogue for David Attenborough to read and Essentially, we're gonna pass that to 11 Labs, which has been pre-trained with David Attenborough's voice. So make sure you're in the same folder. And then we have to open that environment again. So conda activate narrator. Now we're gonna do python narrator.py. And one thing I forgot to do is actually put quotes around the OpenAI API key token. So remember to do that. And let's run python narrator.py. David is watching. So we actually got the words right here, but we have an error. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, it says a voice for voice ID was not found. So we do need to actually train the voice. And of course, David Attenborough has the rights to his own voice, so this is purely for educational purposes. So I actually found this MP3 of David Attenborough's voice that I'm gonna use to train his voice, and I'll link this in the description below. So we're gonna download the MP3 here, and let's give it a listen. Inasmuch then as this Leviathan comes floundering down upon us from the headwaters of the eternities... Okay. Perfect. Let's head back to 11 Labs and we're gonna add a generative or cloned voice. And it looks like we are gonna need a paid account of 11 Labs, that's too bad. But of course you can design a voice for free right here with voice design, but it's just not gonna be David Attenborough. So I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe just to try this out. And for the functionality we need, it's only a dollar a month for the first month. So let's do it, it's cheap. Okay, now I'm subscribed, let's click here again. We're gonna do instant voice cloning. I'm gonna name this David A. And now we're gonna upload that MP3. And that should be good to go. We're going to add voice and let's see if it worked. Switching back to the terminal, let's use this first paragraph of text that it already created to see if it sounds right. So copied it, going back to here, let's paste it in and let's generate. Ah, here we observe the modern human in its natural habitat, the digital workspace. Clad in a vibrant display of ceremonial fleece. This is so good. Okay, all right. I'm gonna pause it. This worked perfectly. Okay, and right here under this drop down, right now it says 11 multilingual v2, but I actually wanna use the turbo version because it really should be very, very fast. So 11 turbo v2. So I'll click there and now that's selected. Let's hear how it sounds. Ah, here we observe the modern human in its natural habitat, the digital workspace. 
Okay, so that's actually perfect. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so this was kind of difficult to actually find the voice ID of the David Attenborough voice that I just cloned. But what you need to do is go to this URL right here, which I'll drop in the description below. Then you scroll down, you enter your API key right here under the get voices, and then you execute. Then within the returned results, you actually have to search for the voice and there's the ID right here. So I'm gonna copy that. I opened Visual Studio Code with the narrator project open. And within narrator.py, if I look on line 27, there's this voice ID and it is hard coded, which is unfortunate. But what you have to do is just paste your own voice ID right in there and then click save. Now let's run it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Python narrator.py. David is watching. Okay, I'm running into an issue where I don't think the API is actually using my API key. And so I think the code has a little bug in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import this little function right here, set API key from 11 labs, and then we're gonna set it manually to make sure it's actually in there. Now let's try it again. And Python narrator.py, let's hit enter. David is watching and I think I think it worked this time. For some reason, I do not hear anything. All right, so unfortunately, for some reason, I can't actually get the audio to play through the terminal, but I know it's working because if I look right here, the audio files are right here. So if I click in, here's audio.wave. I open it up, and now we can hear David Attenborough's narration. And here we have the incredible Homo sapiens, clad in a strikingly colorful garment that mimics the vast palette of nature itself. Observe as it masters the art of stillness before an electronic device, a ritual as complex as the courtship dance of the bird of paradise, but as widespread as the grazing of the buffalo. Behold the concentration, the poised demeanor. This creature is clearly on the cusp of doing something phenomenally ordinary. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.